Good morning. I want to thank you all for coming out this morning to the press conference to launch Project Homeless Connect Salt Lake City 2018. Today we are joined by many of our community service providers standing behind us here. Um, we will begin our press conference uh, today by hearing from Mayor, uh, Salt Lake City Mayor uh, Jackie Biskupski. Well, then uh, she'll be followed by Kara Baldwin, who is a volunteer from last year's Project Homeless Connect. We have a short video which we are attempting to show you today, but we are actually going to email that out to you instead, So because we're, ha we're having some technical difficulties. So we'll get that emailed out to you. Um, and then I'll close with final remarks and open it up to any questions. So Mayor Biskupski. Great. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming today. This is a great day and I'm so grateful for everyone who showed up to help with this launch. Uh, one of my proudest moments as mayor was launching Salt Lake City's Project Homeless Connect last October with Mike and at that time he had uh, just left the city to go work somewhere else and um, it turned out immensely well. So we're very glad that you took that with you and carried it out for us, so thank you. Uh, for the last two and a half years, Salt Lake City has focused on homelessness like never before, and Project Homeless Connect is a piece of this work. By bringing together community members, service providers, and those experiencing homelessness, we have done more than provide care for one day. We have put a face to this issue and the human connection that is needed for us to manage and help those who are experiencing homelessness. Salt Lake City's efforts have been all about collaboration, working with the county, state, service providers, and residents. Pro Project Homeless Connect is a perfect example of this collaboration in action because it only succeeds when we all step up to do our part and work together. Over 500 volunteers came out last October to make Project Homeless Connect a success. These volunteers were paired with over 700 clients. They learned their stories, their needs, and together the volunteers and clients found the help that was required. Volunteers like Kara Baldwin, who, will, who you will hear from shortly, provided the one-on-one -on -one contact and love that was needed and is often the missing part for those who are experiencing homelessness. Project Homeless Connect is a life-changing experience for everyone who is involved and participates in this endeavor. I hope that you will join us this year for Project Homeless Connect. Thank you. My name is Kara Baldwin and I was a volunteer last year at Project Homeless Connect through my work, Pluralsight. I'm so grateful to be a, have been a part of this event last year. I had two, two powerful, power, powerful takeaways from that event last year. First and foremost, the collaboration, the community, the collection, the cohesiveness of the event, of all these different entities and groups and businesses and agencies coming together to one place. It was so powerful to walk in and see all of the booths set up of people waiting to help and be creating and doing actually real good things in a day. The second, which was by far the most powerful, was we see people in our daily lives every day who are experiencing homelessness, but it's so difficult to actually see them. They're around us. We see them as we get off the freeways to go home, even out in suburbia. We see it, but we don't see it. And coming here helped me to think and remember that these are people. We are talking about people. It is not a problem. It is not, they're not things to be solved. We are talking about people. And I really, really love the opportunity to be able to watch their faces change as they got some of the services that they needed, that we did things in an efficient and quick way. They could, they could take opportunities while they were here to get many, many things done that would take them days and days on their own, if they could even get them done at all on their own. And that was so powerful. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity and looking so much forward to this year. Thank you. Thank you, Kara. And I want to thank, again, our, our, um, 
our service providers that have joined us today, we have well over 100 that will be attending Project Homeless Connect. And, uh, and this is just a sample of the many that will be with us on October 12th. Last year when we launched Project Homeless Connect, it was really the first of its kind in Salt Lake City. When we opened the doors on October 6th, we weren't sure what to expect. We didn't know if the volunteers were going to come or the homeless guests would walk through the doors. Nearly 12 exhausting hours later, we couldn't believe what we had just seen. Our community came together in a remarkable way. There was genuine compassion, thoughtfulness, and a desire to help someone in need. For many, it was a very emotional experience. They were better to, able to understand what it means to be homeless, and they created a bond with the homeless community that many said has changed the way they live their lives and treat others around them. And for those experiencing homelessness, they made a friend for the day and were able to access desperately needed services. Hundreds of volunteers walked through the door and even more homeless guests came in and by the end of the day, nearly 3,000 services had been received. But perhaps just as important, 784 homeless individuals felt that someone truly cared about them. We all know that there are a number of barriers facing those who are at risk of or experiencing homelessness. One of those is access to services. We are fortunate to have an incredible service provider community, but as they can attest, it is difficult for our homeless friends to travel great distances or to multiple places. Project Homeless uh, Connect addresses that barrier by bringing all the services together in one place so that a guest can go to one booth to receive medical help and then down the road to talk about housing and then off to get a haircut. It is all conveniently together in one location. Another barrier is that of deep misunderstandings or perceptions of those experiencing homelessness by our community. Project Homeless Connect breaks down that barrier by connecting the community in a way that is really difficult to experience elsewhere. While spending hours with the homeless guest, our volunteers hear their stories, they learn of their needs, and they begin to create a bond. Our homeless community has often stated that one of the things they desire most is, is to be recognized as a person and have someone look in their eyes without fear or judgment. And that happens at Project Homeless Connect. As we interviewed our homeless guests as they left the event last year, many were in tears because of the, they had not only received their needed services, but because someone took the time to be with them and care for them. One of our volunteers said, this experience has changed me for the better. I came home that night with a more grateful heart and a resolve to do more to reach out to those in need and to make a difference in the lives of the people around me. And that is what Project Homeless Connect is about. In a time when compassion seems to be a forgotten virtue, this event reminds us that there is still good in the world and that many, sti many people still care for those who need help. As the mayor mentioned, we are hoping for even a bigger and better event this year. We have worked through the kinks, we have doubled many services, and hope to provide an improved experience for everyone involved. We need the community's support to make this event a success, so we urge people to register to volunteer at our website, www.phcslc.org, and come on Friday, October 12th, and be a part of something extraordinary. Thank you for coming.